for this circuit we need to find that what is the value of R for which maximum power will be transferred to this uh, resistance. So that's the question. So we know from maximum power transfer theorem that if uh, it into a load resistance maximum power is transferred when the load resistance equals to the line resistance that we know. Now for this for this circuit there is a lot of uh, there are few resistances here two voltage sources one current source we need to only find what is the value of R so that R gets maximum power that's what we need to find. So if we think in terms of Thevenin's theorem we are interested only uh, about the value of R so if we can replace the re rest of the circuit by just one resistance and one let's say voltage source we will have something like this we will have R here we will have a line resistance which is like a transmission line uh, analogy and then we will have a supply voltage let's say we have something like this then we maximum power will be transferred to R if R value of R is equal to R line so basically if we remove the circuit from that from here the terminal and find Thevenin's equivalent for the remaining part of the circuit that means we are interested in R so we are finding Thevenin's resistance for the value for the uh, element R and we are interested only in the resistance because once we find the Thevenin's value of the Thevenin's resistance we can say that that will be the value of R as well because Thevenin's resistance this line resistance will be the Thevenin's resistance and value of R will be the same as that in order for R to get the maximum uh, power transfer. Uh, that's the, in order to ensure that R gets maximum power uh, the value of R has to be equal to the line resistance which is the Thevenin's resistance. So we will find only the value of the Thevenin's resistance. Let's do that. Let's remove the circuit from R. So this is the part where R was. This is the another thing we need to do. We need to make all the sources inactive. So there are two voltage sources which will be short circuited and there is a current source which will be open circuited. So let's do that. This is our two ohms. Then this will be short circuited the voltage source there is this resistance which is 5 ohms there was this current source which will be open circuited and then there is this 3 ohms resistance and there is this voltage source which will be again short circuited the 24 volt source that is short circuited as well so we need to find the resistance that is seen from here looking at this point this uh, terminal what is the resistance that can be seen so we can easily see that basically we have these 2 ohms and these 3 ohms these two are uh, basically these three ohms and so if I redraw the circuit if I'm allowed to do that these three ohms coming here and then these five ohms coming here and this is the terminals uh, these are the terminals and five ohms there three ohms there and then I have another two ohms here so basically we have this three plus five eight ohms in parallel with two ohms so basically we will have eight ohms here 2 ohms here these two are coming in parallel so that is the value of R so the so this is 8 times 2 divided by 8 plus 2 which is 10 so that will be 1.6 ohm so that is the value of the Thevenin's resistance so in order uh, to ensure that R gets maximum power transferred to it we have to have the value of R also 1.6 ohms so the situation will be like this R Thevenin is 1.6 ohms which is replacing uh, the remaining resistances and there is Thevenin's voltage source which we haven't calculated we don't need to and the value of R will be of also 1.6 ohms so that's it.